Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Today, well, there's one thing I want to show you over here, and... No, just kidding, viewers, just kidding. Well, actually, there is something I want to show you here, but, uh... Did I trick any of you into thinking you were watching the last episode by accident? But yeah, if you, uh, read the sign again here after you open the door, well, there's a little message there. Someone wanted me to show that off, so, well, there it is. Okay, so now we're at the trial after uh, Chrono was arrested at Guardia Castle last time. Emperor Gestal, is that you? No. No, his porn stash is not nearly that badass. Is the Chancellor allowed to do that sort of thing? I would think Chancellors wouldn't have that kind of legal expertise. Well, whatever works for you guys. Shouldn't the witness stand be, like, next to the judge? Eh, whatever works for you guys. What, you're gonna turn the tickler on me? No, no. That would be a horrible way to torture someone. The decision is yours, and by yours I mean mine. Why are the chancellors always evil here, anyway? I just couldn't resist her enormous breasts. I just saw them, and I heard the call. I had to go to them. What more do you, what do you want me to do? You saw how shiny they were. Uh, well, that's called an accident. Maybe criminal negligence. But we brought her back in one piece. I've never actually played any Ace Attorney games, so I wouldn't know the uh, objection reference. What evidence? Well, fortunately, I've already done the right things. Remember way back at the uh, Lean Square there, where I was telling you not to do a bunch of things, or to do a bunch of things? Well, since we brought the kitty back for the girl there, we... well, that helps us out. There's also stealing er, the old man's lunch, which I did not do. Uh, not rushing Marley to the buy her uh, cotton candy. Sounds vulgar. No, no, of course not. I kill monsters for my money. Well, no, no, just kidding. Yeah, there was also uh, not selling the pendant to Melchior, and also, well, regarding the pendant, make sure you uh, talk to Marley before grabbing the pendant, so that way it doesn't look like you value her jewelry more than her well-being. So, there you are. Why are chancellors always evil? Maybe the fi real Chancellor in 600 AD was just Yakra Jr. Oh, yeah. He told me one more thing. He said that one day, crazy purple-haired scientist or red-haired kid show up asking about that key. And if he does... Or, wait a minute now. No. But, come on, one more, one more! Did I do it right? Hooray! All not guilty! I heard that seventh juror was just bugged in the Super Nintendo version, but uh, I don't really have any hard information about that, so. She already escaped! What the hell, man? Can you at least drag me away kicking and screaming?
Yeah, just forget about Chrono and Luca and how they saved your lives. Don't even bother explaining any of that. I mean, heck, in the sequel, they believed that we were from an alternate universe, just like that, but they won't believe that we went back in time 400 years? I do like the music here, though. Dun, 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 dun. I can sing off tempo. Now there's your word of the day, viewers. Seditionist. What do you mean, guilty? I lost. Wait a minute, I wasn't supposed to lose. Let me see the script. Yeah, where is that in the script? I don't see that written down here. Ah. See, we're at now now. Everything that is happening now is happening now. That's not these guys again. Yeah, unfortunately they don't do the music transition as well as the Super Nintendo version, but oh well. I just kind of like how the music transitioned a little better. But anyway, if you got a lot of people to say that you were not guilty, well, you can get some items from the sympathizers here. Nothing extraordinary, but, well, might as well. And we get six ethers. All right. Now, let's try to escape on our own. All you got to do is just bang on the bars over and over again, and then they'll open the door for us. Come on, we can take him. Ow. So yeah, you pretty much have two choices for getting out of prison. Spoiler alert, we're going to get out of here sooner or later. But yeah, uh, you can either just try to escape and fight the guards. Uh, they'll actually lock you in if you just sit on your ass long enough. That's I figured I'd just show you that. But uh, yeah, okay, let's really get out of here then. So yeah, you can either just sit on your ass, wait for the three days to run out, and then they'll take you to your execution, where you will escape, or you can just escape now. So I figured, well, since last time I showed it the other way, this time I'll show it this way around. You could just uh, walk up behind this guy and knock him out like that, and then you don't have to fight him. You only have to fight one guard. If, if you want to, you can just walk around him, and then you fight two for a little more experience, but, eh, I figured it's just one, so I figured I'd just demonstrate it. How did he disappear that quickly? Man, these guards are fast. Can I get those treasures over there? Nuts. Yeah, we can't get in there yet. Can't, cr can't crawl under there. We'll take a look at those guys in just a moment, but let's head on over here first. I like the background they got going on there. Let's see, can I get behind him easily enough? Like that guard at the in the prison cell there, if you walk sneak up on these guards. Oh. Huh. Well, usually if you sneak up on them and you successfully knock them out, then you can get an item from them. But apparently not that one. Hmm, that's odd. That almost always works. But if you try to escape. Uh-oh. How did you guys find out so fast? Well, anyway, we gotta take on this take out this guy. Gowler? However you pronounce it? I don't know. But uh yeah, all you can do to defeat him is use physical attacks. Anything well I suppose we don't have any magical attacks, but if you met up with one and you have magical attacks, they wouldn't work on him too well. And uh, you're you're off the payroll now, pal. So here's another little tricky enemy here. Just wait for it. Yeah. Okay. So let's attack. Them. These are sentries. What they do is, if their shield is facing towards you, then you really can't damage them that much. So what you want to do is just wait around for a while. Eventually, they'll open their shield, and you will be able to damage them. I mean, 
you could damage them with their shield closed, but you wouldn't really be able to do that much. So, and I would guess they would counterattack. I forget. But, uh, just attack them when their shields are down. No. What is that? Whoa. What, you just left a spear in there? What if you gotta throw another prisoner in that room? Well, easy enough. So, I figured I'd just show you something a little spooky there. Salad Chrono. Just gotta sneak around, knock out the guards. Uh oh. I'd make more Metal Gear Salad references here, but I've never even touched one of the games. So, aren't they on the PSN? I forget. I mean, I do have a PS3, so I suppose I can. If they are there, I, I forget. Or they get that collection now, don't they? That HD collection or something? I don't know. I'm not really seriously interested in that. I'm not a fan of uh, stealth or positioning games. I just don't like it when the, the element of strategy is essentially where you're standing. And if you're standing in the right place, you win, and that's it. So, I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. Yeah, it looks like I snuck up on him just barely quickly enough. And All right, we got a mid potion for knocking him out. Uh, game? Can I get behind him? Ah! Yeah, for some reason, I just couldn't get quite behind him. No! I don't even know you! Yes. Hey, would you like to join my party? Oh wait, he has a generic character sprite? He can't join my party. Fritz, huh? Oh yeah, there was that other person, uh, what was her name, Elaine? Something like that. Who was, like, really worried about some guy named Fritz. I wonder what his problem was, how he got in there. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably just an innocent soul. I think he is, anyway. Hey, hey. Wanna fight? Fight Club? No. Never saw that movie either. Oh, wow. Please no more guards. Please no more guards. Thank you. Uh, we could go up there, but let's head on down here first. There might be a little, or a couple items here. You can never have enough shelters. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Oh, it looks like there's a guy trapped in that cell there. Hey, how's it going? Oh, not very good at all, huh? Yeah, I just figured I'd show you that. Now, if you're very careful, haha! -ha! Yeah, you can sneak right between those two. And find nothing in that cell there. But you can go out here. Got a grapple hook or something? Salad chrono indeed. But anyway, yeah, this is how you get to those cells that you couldn't get into before. And here we get the mighty silver sword that you could have bought from Melchior earlier. It's only a little stronger than that sword we found, like, not even halfway into our first dungeon. So it's like, why bother spending four grand on that? It just doesn't seem worth it to me. You can get there fighting, like, what, maybe one or two battles? And, yeah, it's not really uh, worthwhile. So, but, I mean, as long as you find it, that's fine. That's great. Just, you know, no point in spending 4,000 gold on it. Or whatever the currency is. Sorry if that was a little confusing there, but I just took the upper right exit there. But I can still one-shot these guys. Oh man, you're too slow, Chrono! Well, that's okay, we've got barely enough strength to take those guys out. And I killed well, almost as many soldiers as I could. 
Somebody help! Shouldn't the warden have a gun of his own? Hey, hey, Luca! You're a little late. But thanks for helping me out. Yeah, we could use your help. But anyway, let's search this guy. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, nice! Sweet! Sure, why not? I'll read you a secret classified document. Thought about cliffhanging you guys there, but I figured... Nah, I'll take it easy on you guys. And of course, they are resistant to most of Luca and Chrono's attacks. Absolutely! <laughs> of course not! Who would be crazy enough to try that? Can we defeat the dragon tank and successfully escape from Guardia Prison? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Pro or Chrono Trigger! This is the Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!